Another old relic from the 70s is this Radiomobile 8 track player. Now, this doesn't have a built in power amp and has to be run through a second amplifier, so it would have been for use with a hi fi separate system. The other strange thing about it to many people is where is the transformer for this? Because it has a preamp. You can see it down there, part of it. The edge of the circuit board. So where is the transformer? Well, it's on the motor. And you can see there the buff coloured part. Either side of there. Those are the running windings. Now tucked inside there is a smaller winding and it's that that provides power for the amp on this it's only powering a preamp on this thing and this was quite a common way of doing things back then uh, and on into the 60s and 50s and you'll find in a lot of uh, little old record players that were like the orange box type with the lid on top and the speaker on the front and you know two or three knobs that uh, the amplifier drew its power from a winding on the motor. This is quite a hefty motor, it's a four point mounting thing on rubber so that it doesn't transmit too much vibration. And these were mainly used in tape machines, reel to reel of course. So to find one in an 8 track player is uh, quite unusual shall I say. It's a BSR mechanism and it's built like a tank as you see as they did tend to be didn't they the flywheel is pretty big so there's only one thing to do see what it sounds like i just bought me a great long ticket i'm going to use it at 4 p.m so you can call your secret love and tell the news to him. You thought your little romance was on the strip QT. And if you want your freedom, PDQ, divorce me, COD, I won't be around to hear you cry. I'm Texas bound, and by and by. Down in Dallas, general delivery. So if you want your freedom, PDQ, divorce me, COD. Well, doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that, does it? This cartridge is a good one. But uh, what I've done is to replace the little uh, spring-loaded brush that keeps the tape in proper contact with the playhead. 
normally with these cartridges you look at this one and if I put it on macro you might see but underneath the tape the foam that uh, does the job of pushing the tape against the head has just gone like so much gingerbread so uh, until I change the foam on that not a good idea to play it as bits could come off and gum up the inside of the tape or wrap around the heads Ugh, mess don't even go there anyway I can just about see the date 1970 there so uh, it's getting on a bit shall we say anyway hope you enjoyed the film bye for now